In fact, the money I've spent on this chicken will travel across a complex web of companies tying in the Isle of Man, Ireland, Guernsey, the Netherlands, Luxembourg, Malta and the British Virgin Islands. Much of the profit eventually ends up in Tax Haven, Jersey, a sum of £750 million in a trust benefiting a family of South Africans, the Enthovens. Nando's are able to legally reduce their tax bill by keeping their UK profits down. One way they do this is through image rights. Royalties for using the Nando's brand name, more than £20 million, are collected by a low-tax Dutch entity called Tortoli BV. And they collect the cash on behalf of another company registered in the tax haven of Malta. Both the Netherlands and Maltese companies are owned, via a chain of intermediate links, by Nando's itself. And branding isn't the only area in which money from Nando's goes international. Rent is paid to a separate UK company, Nando's Chicken Limited, which is itself owned by yet another Netherlands intermediary. The financing to fit out each restaurant comes through offshore loans, moving another £5 million in potential profits this time to a Guernsey entity called Nando's Leasing Limited. As for the rest of the proceeds, after some UK corporation tax is paid on what's left, the corporate structure is eventually headed by a Luxembourg-registered partnership. Nando's say they paid £12 million in corporation tax last year. We reckon that without offshoring, they could have paid half as much again, almost £18 million. Eventually, though, all of those corporate structures lead back to where we started, the Enthoven's Family Trust Fund in Jersey. Some of the Enthoven clan live in an English estate called Spy Park in Wiltshire, which dates back to the 16th century. The property is technically registered to an anonymous offshore company in the British Virgin Islands and would allow them, if they chose to, to legally avoid future capital gains and inheritance taxes. A spokesman said they had paid all applicable taxes when they bought the property. Everything that Nando's and the Enthovens are doing is perfectly legal. But given the current pressure on UK tax coffers, it's possible that one or two of its customers might find Nando's offshoring as spicy as its chicken. 